Hey, this is Josh Hines here, coming from downtown Prague. Maybe uptown Prague. Uh, somewhere in the town of Prague. Maybe this is Venice. So Google search has confirmed I'm in Prague. In my journeys through Prague, I found a chair. I wanted to know more about this chair. And so like any reasonable tourist, I Googled reviews. Would you believe there were no reviews on of this chair? And so I'm gonna be the first to review this chair. This makes me a bit of a trailblazer. Nobody has ever reviewed this chair before. So this is my review of a chair in Prague. So just so you get a sense of what chair we're talking about, here's a nice little chair selfie. Yeah, there's the two of us together. It's got some chair-like qualities. Um, got your basic chair shape. So um, that's for a frame of reference later. There's an ancient Czech legend that the King Prussia brought this chair when he stayed at this hostel. He carried it with him when he went into exile, following the invasion of his home country by the Ottoman Empire. It was his favorite chair, and to make room for it in one of his horse-drawn carts, he left his beloved family behind. Over the mountains, with the invading army at his back, he made it to the Czech Republic and to this hostel. It was 1995. It's a rather impressive breakthrough in technology. I'm leaning right back so that my center of gravity is in my upper body. By the laws of science and religion, I should hit the floor and continue following until I reach the center of the earth. But by placing this chair between me and the floor, I am completely immune to the force of gravity. Could chairs be the technology that will one day finally help us reach space? However, there are some limits to this chair's usefulness. While writing this review, I got a hankering from some salad. The chair was completely useless for cutting this tomato. As well, I didn't want to eat the salad off the chair as, only moments earlier, it had been touching my bum. Sure, this chair might have its limits, but the technology is new, or maybe really old. I don't know. My research was derailed when I found a video of a duck and a cat who were friends. Weighing the benefits and limitations, I give the chair a score of 42.83 out of a possible score of 47.33 and a half. The duck cat video got a score of 10 out of a possible 8.9. Conclusion. I check the check chair and the check chair is fair. Join me for my next video where I review my reaction to watching this video. They call this the city of peace. Or was it the city of pizza? Where am I thinking of? The Czech Republic. Origin of that saying, check yourself before you infect yourself.